Good morning, I'm Abby Phillips for the Finance News Network. Stocks declined on Thursday as rising tensions in the Middle East left investors uneasy ahead of September payrolls report. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.44%, the S&P 500 dipped 0.17%, while the Nasdaq Composite edged down 0.04%, supported by a more than 3% rally in Nvidia that helped limit losses. As a result of Thursday's movements, the three major indexes are set for losses this week, with the Dow and S&P 500 each down 0.7%, while the Nasdaq is anticipated to end 1.1% lower. This shift comes after a strong three quarters. According to Bespoke Investment Group, 2024 has seen the largest gains in the first nine months of the year since 1997. Weekly jobless claims slightly exceeded economists' expectations, suggesting mixed signals about the labour market as traders await the closely watched payrolls report due Friday morning. US crude futures climbed over 5%, making an 8% gain for the week as concerns related to the Middle East drove prices higher. Energy stocks surged in response with the S&P 500 energy sector up about 5.9% this week, putting it on track for its strongest performance in over a year. On Thursday, the energy sector gained 1.58%, while consumer discretionary was the worst performer, falling 1.28%. In company news, shares of Hims and Hers Health fell 9.6% after the FDA announced the resolution of a shortage of popular weight loss drugs Zetbound and Monjaro from Ellie Lilly, which Hims and Hers has sought to capitalise on with its own compound versions. Joby Aviation stock dropped 8.6%, reversing some of its previous session gains. On Wednesday, shares soared nearly 28% following Toyota's announcement of a $500 million investment in the company to support its development of its electric air taxi. Levi's saw its shares decline 7.7% after the denim maker lowered its full year revenue outlook and reported a weaker than expected third quarter revenue. The company is also considering selling its Dockers brand, which it cited as underperforming. Turning to the local market, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% fall. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.